How's it going everyone? So in today's video, we are covering everything new on both iOS 18.1 beta 3 as well as 18 beta 8. Now both happen to be the developer beta. And from my understanding, the beta is basically already complete for iOS 18 beta 8 as the RC looks to be coming out very soon. Meanwhile, 8.1 beta 3 has a couple more beta updates. Now, other devices that also received a new firmware update this morning was iPad OS 18 Beta 8 is also available, Mac OS 15 Beta 8, TB OS 18 Beta 8, and so much more. The list is right there. But in this video, we are going to primarily focus on the iPhone side of things because here is an iPhone 15 Pro with Apple Intelligence enabled, and this is an iPhone 13 Mini, both ran the latest firmware updates. So first thing first, let's just take an overview of like the built number for both of these two devices. So if I go in settings and hop into the general side of things, let me get out of here real quick. Here we go. General, general. Let me disable night mode for this one. I switch between these two phones. I like the compact size of the mini. Let me know in the comment section if you also agree or disagree. And here in iOS version, we see we have an A at the end of this one and an E at the end of the beta three as this is the second time we've seen an A at the end of iOS 18, meaning easily indicating that it's being more refined than ever. So in other words, this is why a lot of people are saying that this one has the complete iOS 18 beta update. Meanwhile, we still are left with E. So we have a couple more updates and improvements as well as new features Apple will be giving us as we get closer to the official RC version and then the official release of iOS 18. Let's start off with the most talked about features and that can be located in the photo app. Because a feature I wasn't expecting to ever see is a touch up tool that's not enhancing the image or anything. Because if you tap on edit right here, we have a cleanup tool that got added. This was an unknown feature I wasn't expecting Apple to ever introduce, but now you can use Apple intelligence to suggest subject and things to be removed from the photo. So right here, there's a couple people walking here. So I can leave Apple Intelligence to do it all automatically. And I can just tap and it'll instantly just start removing things out of the photo that looks unwanted, all utilizing Apple Intelligence. And to the most part, it works really good. Just look how it's leaving the reflection. So it's not perfected, but nonetheless, it's an interesting feature I wasn't expecting to see Apple integrate. And then you also have the feedback support as well, like up and down. So I'm going to dislike that let them know that it did a terrible job in removing reflection. There we go. Maybe an Apple feedback will be able to see that and uh, step it up a notch to actually improve it. But it's pretty advanced and pretty smart where you could just draw around the subject and it'll automatically like use AI to highlight it. Although her leg is left and as a result, it looks like a walking stick. A uh, bit odd, but yeah, it needs some improvement nonetheless. But some of the crazy things you could do with this is like, say for instance, we want to censor ourselves, right? Tap the cleanup tool. And if you select the face, oh my God. that's not what I intended it to do. That's kind of creepy, huh? There we go. It blurs. <laughs> Why did it do that? That looks so bad. It kept it too. <laughs> but it was supposed to censor my face. Uh, any face you, uh, it detects, it was supposed to be automatically censored. I don't know why it improved my look. Oh, that was creepy. Yeah, no. <laughs> Hold on, let me redo it again. Uh-uh, it did not. Oh, there we go. Now it censors the uh, face recognition. So you can actually censor people in the background if you don't want to truly eliminate them or remove them. But my request from Apple would be to allow it to automatically detect license plates if you want to censor plates as well. I think that would be really nifty instead of just doing it solely for just people. Because if I do this to like censor this plate, it does a great job on partially removing it, but it didn't censor it. But uh, a little tip or advice I can give to Apple. And when you swipe up, it will show that it has been modified with a cleanup. So again, pardon the uh, gym selfies. To uh, free up some confusion. Unfortunately, if you select one of these like items that you're trying to do, I don't really have that many photos on this. Interesting. But when I tap the edit icon to get that eraser cleanup tool, it's not available. So unfortunately, it seems like it's only going to become available on the iPhones that actually support Apple Intelligence. Unfortunately, 
Now, the other new change can also be located in summaries because if you receive a lot of summaries, like notifications, like my YouTube page, my uh, price alert here, uh, my sleep assist, it stacks. If you have boatload of the same notifications, it will give you like a little number on the side of the corner right here, like your home apps with that little red, basically. And we'll summarize all the notifications right here. So in summary, check room temperature and humidity as all the other notifications on this app was basically telling me about, basically telling me that it just summarized it all entirely, which is quite awesome. Now, if you live in Hawaii, your driver license can now be available in your Apple wallet because now if you go into your wallet app and then tap the plus icon in the driver license and state ID, you'll see Hawaii is now listed here. Same apply on 18 beta 8. Oops, didn't mean to do that, but it also has Hawaii right there. And pretty soon, California should be added here in the near future. But in terms of everything else, like the new wallpapers that were added for the iPhone 15s, unfortunately, that doesn't seem like Apple decided to re-add them. Still, it's been removed and replaced with that new uh, iOS 18 wallpaper. Maybe in the near future, it's probably bugged Apple very likely to re-add it because that was basically the wallpaper for the iphone 15th and it still is an irrelevant phone you can still go to the store and buy even with the release of the iphone 16s i'm sure the 15 will still be available on standby for a less expensive option then in terms of new apple intelligence function unfortunately this is the same apple intelligence from my experience that we've seen in the past with the other betas this is not that very advanced apple intelligence unfortunately as i don't see new tools or anything yet uh, was new newly added in this apple intelligence section now even though the wallpapers were removed if you go back in your keyboard we did receive the new larger emojis right here was our new recent one so that at least stayed that didn't get removed because if we go into your photos i mean because if we go into our phone booth the recent update in your recent calls unfortunately hasn't been updated apple removed it and it looked like they continued removing it but i'll keep you guys posted if they re-add the new ui update that they recently did for the phone app because right now everything the phone app looks exactly the same like it previously was but in terms of everything else, I know that this phone is running cooler with this latest beta 3 update on my iPhone 15. So that's good. So maybe this did resolve like the overheating problem, the battery drain problem, because everything else has been pretty fluid. The previous beta update, the beta, the beta 2, I have noticed my phone would randomly crash if I open up too many apps. This one hasn't yet crashed on me. Apple is definitely doing something right with their beta update. But again, this is just a beta. Don't recommend using this on your personal device. But this one, after the first few hours of me playing around with it, has been running smoothly. So feel free to comment down below and let me know how your experience has been like. But other than that, there you guys have it. That is everything new on beta 3 of iOS 18.1, as well as the developer beta of iOS 18 beta 8. If you'd like to see everything new that was added on CarPlay, check it out right over there as I recently posted that video. Thank you guys so much for watching.